I guess back to camp and see what Sadie has to say to me. <laughs> oh, kill me. Uh, wait, no, it's literally back down this road. I am the dumb, okay. So I guess it'll just appear as another mission. So that that mission we just did was literally just a cutscene and then sometime later. Oh, fuck. Oh, I've done goofed. Hang on. I hope I remember to cut this out. Okay, and we're good. Um, I, <laughs> I've got the Xbox Elite controller because I used to be big into the multiplayer gaming. Used to play a shitload of Overwatch when that launched for about a year and a half. Um... And that uses the shoulder buttons as your abilities, and I really didn't like taking my fingers off the triggers to use the so shoulder buttons. Uh, so I got the Elite Controller, because then you could just use the back pedals and stuff, and it made me it made me a much better player, I'm not going to lie. Uh, one of the things about the Elite Controller is it has detachable thumbsticks, because you can use... The, it comes with a couple of different uh, like thumbstick lengths to, for whatever you prefer. And I just accidentally knocked it off when I pushed forward to ride the horse <laughs> so yeah not really possible to play without a thumbstick attached whoopsie uh, I'm pretty sure that's the second time that dude's run out of that hedge and asked for my help unless I'm going quite mad almost there I feel like our base here seems a lot closer to us underneath than our last base seemed to Rhodes. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but that's how it seems. Which is good. Hey! Who's there? Arthur, dumbass! Okay, howdy people. All right, Miss Sadie. How you doing, Mrs. Adler? How are you? Horsemen apocalypses. Since I, well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. Ha! Huh. Oh, Lord above. Yeah, high society. I'm pretty so. sure that's what I called I my, my video the other day. That's cool. Are over. Well, I was right. I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. Did you get any leaks? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on, we need to talk. Miss Adler, will you excuse us? When are you going to let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. Yeah. A few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. <laughs> yes, perhaps. Now... The trolley bus station. Indeed. I went down there. I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. <laughs> I ain't never robbed in a city before. Yeah, well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. <laughs> there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make them change. Very funny. What is that? Uh... <laughs> what? What the hell have they done to me? Look, there, the tree line. Everybody oh fuck! Oh, poor Kieran. Have I got my? Oh shit! Oh no, I do. Oh, that's much better. Oh, I can't believe that. We haven't had a mission with him for ages. I think the last thing we did with him was go fishing, but that's so sad. Poor Kieran. Women and children inside. Rescue you. Hold. That is really sad. We like Kieran. He was he was a good egg. And he'd been with us for quite a while since we lassoed him right at the start. That was one of the first things we did was that mission where we took out a bunch of O'Driscolls in the snow and then chased down Kieran. 
Come on, let me maneuver faster. Okay, here we go, here we go. You fuckers. Okay, this is not, let me hunker down here. Oh shit, I can't hunker down here. Let me hunker down here then. What? How is that not a headshot? Okay, let me reload. I've got a ton of bullets. Okay, hello. Shit. There's one. There's two. There's three. There's four. There's five. There's... Oh, no. Shit. Fuck me. Wait, is there someone to that side of us? Oh, shit. Retreat. Shit! Man. How are there so many of them? Jesus Christ. This is mad. Okay, I got it. Okay, he ran there automatically. That was cool. I should eat quickly. Um... Wait, no, I shouldn't actually. What am I talking about? My health core is pretty high. It's just my health that is low. How is that not a headshot? Why are they all wearing bags over their heads? I don't, I'm not sure about that. Shit. Oh, fuck. Jump through the window and find Sadie. Oh, of course. Sadie, come on. This is why we don't take you to gunfights. Oh, you fuckers. Oh, okay. I'll let you do that then. Why right in the nuts? Wait, how come he's still a red thing if he's dead? Weird. Okay, never mind. I guess this is why we bring you out here. <laughs> is there anyone else? No, I think that's it. Oh, hello. Oh, Jesus. Why are they all wearing these fucking bags? It's so creepy. It feels like something you'd see in a purge movie. Sadie's actually holding her own pretty good, I've got to say. We're all in this together. Oh, fuck me. I ran out of uh, dead eye, it seemed, there. Okay. Cowards. We okay? I think so. Combs gonna pay for that Karen one. Here. Uh, poor poor Karen. Karen. Mr. Swanson, could you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near? Of course. Charles, help me with the body. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taking care of it. Come on now, work. 
Olmo Driscoll. That man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. I'm not sure I get him either. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep. Man, that was mad. That was so unexpected. He saved my life, and I could not save his. Mrs. Adler fought braver than any of us. She is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. That's what love has done to her, I guess. Yeah, since they killed her husband. What's the saying? Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned or something? Complete using only sidearms? Why? Why would I ever do that? And 70% accuracy. I guess I fucked that up a bit. Um, why would you ever do it with the only sidearms? Like just gimping yourself for no reason. And you wouldn't know to do that ahead of time. Okay. What have we got? We've got Dutch's trolley mission now. Urban pleasures. Oh, is a trolley a train? Is that what a trolley is? And then up here, all the way up here, we have eagle flies. Here we go. Rainsfall has asked you to meet his son, eagle flies, to steal some documents from Cornwall, kerosene, and tar. Well, oh, there is a train station in Valentine. That's what that is. Oh, no, that's a stagecoach. Huh. Well, now might be the time then. I'll ride into Rhodes, hop a stagecoach to Valentine. We'll finish that side quest and then we'll do Eagle Fly's mission and then we'll head back to Dutch. Sound good? Sounds good. Well done, Sadie. Oh my god, she is soaked in blood. Okay. Arthur, I can't believe those pigs did that to him. Neither can I. You can. He was such a gentle soul. Yeah, he saved my life one time. I'll miss him. You make the bastards pay, Arthur. If we get the chance, we surely shall. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I'm trying to remember when he saved our life, but it's not coming back to me. I remember I remember grabbing him near the start. I remember having him tied to the tree and Bill teasing him with the pokers. I remember going fishing with him. Uh, but I'm not remembering when he saved our life, which is a shame because that's a pretty major thing. But I honestly can't remember it. So, oh, no. Was it... Oh no, I think it was in one of the first missions where he was trying to prove his loyalty to us. And we were at that cabin in the woods thing and someone burst out and was going to kill us, but he killed them, I think. I think that's what it means. Okay. Well, at a boy Kieran then, I guess. Yeah, that was just... You never you never know what's going to happen with these missions, because, like, a lot of the time you go somewhere and then someone gives you a mission, you go off and do it, and sometimes, like, with that cutscene one earlier, uh, you go there, you have a cutscene, and then that's it until later, and then another mission spawns because of that. And then there, it was like a Sadie mission, so I was like, I don't know what's going to happen here, and then we go to it, and it's like, hey, <laughs> surprise, it's actually... Not like any one specific person's mission. Wait, why is the stagecoach thing? 
locked. Oh, it was because I was on a horse. Okay. Uh, how do I use it? I don't actually know. Take a ride. Okay, there we go. 790. Whew. That's a pricey fucking thing. How is it more expensive to take a stagecoach from here to Valentine than it is to take a train? Or maybe the train to Valentine. Well, I still don't actually know if there is a train station. We have paid off our bounty. I don't know if anyone here is going to remember the fact that we, like, totally shot the place up. Thanks, my man. Rub the sleep out, your eyes. We're here. Thanks for the ride, partner. All right, girl. Thanks for following me. Oh, there's another stranger up here as well. Okay. Oh, easy. Watch yourself. You have trouble, mate. Hello. It's been a while. I'm looking for some fellas sojourned around here. Boy Calloway and a rider called Levin. Drunk Boy Calloway. This bar's got bullet marks to remember him by. Last I heard, they was in San Denis. Oh, fuck me, really? On a riverboat there. San Denis. On a riverboat? Oh, okay, then. Are you serious? I wouldn't drink here, though. Get on to San Denis and hand you some Sazerac. If there was anything else I can do, you let me know. Uh, he's back. If there wasn't another reason for me to be up here, I'd be so mad that the game made me go for all the way from Saint Denis to Valentine just so the bartender could tell me they're in Saint Denis. Like, for hotel, this newly built hotel where weary travelers in the Heartlands can wash the mud off and get a good night's rest with bedrooms and hot baths available. Hmm. That's cool. Right, let's go see what this stranger wants, shall we? Hey, weren't you with those fellas in here when all that happened? Nope. Wasn't me. Forget about it. That must have been the thing I was thinking of when I was going to that bar saloon last time. It must have been a hotel I was thinking of. Just didn't remember that was a thing. Hello. Yeah? What do you want? Do I look oh, like brother. a coward to you? I mean, obviously I do, because I look like that milksop there, but tis no matter. Can you help? Maybe. See? Even he is sick of hearing your nonsense, you afterthought of a child. I apologize, sir, for his smell. Why don't we come back here? To somewhere more conducive to displays of utter gallantry and deep-seated inadequacy. Well, what did you this have dude's certainly got a chip on his shoulder. Shoot a bottle off my head, like William Tell. This is getting silly. Very silly. The man is a moron. <laughs> Shoot one off mine instead. <laughs> I'm the brave one. I'm not scared. Uh, I'm a good shot, but... I won't even flinch. I don't want to hurt you, boys. Oh, I can't lose. Either I'll prove my masculinity or die and be spared his company. Come, sir, please. Okay. Hey, <sighs> that is such a weird thing to request. <laughs> Listen, just make sure everyone knows you asked me to do this. Of course, of course, of course. You boys are ridiculous. <sighs> Okay. Don't think too much about it. Just shoot. Good shot, sir. I think you got it. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> what was? I feel like we didn't even do anything. Oh, of course you didn't. We all know you're hardly sentient at all. <laughs> Another round, smaller bottles, sir. Please. What? Uh, oh god, damn it. Please. This creature is unbearable. He needs Something's going to go wrong eventually, isn't it? I'll do my best. As long as she witnesses that I'm doing this under duress. Oh, you boys are so silly. Why? Why would they? Oh my god. Oh, 
Got it. I must be the bravest man I know. Okay. <laughs> now do one while I hop. Do one Are you I mad? No. Shoot me. Oh, no. Me the gun. Let me shoot him. For all mankind. No. I think me and the lady have had enough. Oh, I don't blame you, sir. This man's tongue, I would run too if I could. Here, for your skills and talents. Mm. Thank you. Now, brother, I am going to walk Helen home. Don't follow us. She has an elderly aunt, and I fear the sight of you could finally finish her off. Helen, is this creep bothering uh, you? You two, come along. Oh, no, there aren't two. There's me and the lizard man. Please, my angel, do not aggregate us both together. <laughs> okay, that was weird. Did he really just give me $1.82 for that? Are you serious? Wow. Wow. <laughs> A single dollar. My God. Okay. Okay. Is there a train station here? Is it just the stagecoach? No, there's not, is there? Theatre, butchers, gun shop, saloon, multiple saloons. Yeah, no. All right. Let us go and see eagle flies. I get a few cents? Get I've already paid that dude a few cents right near the start of the game. Damn near me. Okay. I do like the names that the people in these tribes choose. It is interesting. Like, Crazy, most of the world has settled on, like... Something that doesn't mean anything, like your name is just your name, like it's just one word, or well, your first name is just one word, or whatever. But then, in some of these tribes, they choose like things that actually have a meaning, like eagle flies. It's cool. I like it. It's interesting to see how things have developed in different ways, in different places. Right. Hello, good sir. You came. Of course I did. Came. Said I would. There's a foreman. American Fathers too. Danbury. Is the files in the office above the refinery room? It's that window with the blind drawn up. I see. If the files are as incriminating as we believe. Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence or hide in the wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. Otherwise, you'll have to sneak past the guards. I'm pressing it. Okay, there we go. <laughs> that was weird. It took a while. Okay, let's watch us make our merry way inside. Are they? Do they not get checked? Does no one, like, take a look in the back of the cart as it goes past? Seems ill-advised. <laughs> nice. I'm liking this music. They seriously not gonna check the back. Is that you, Al? Hey, Tom. Picking up. Yep. It's 
supposed to meet the early train to San Denis. Okay. Better get a move on then. Okay. It's because they know each other, I guess, but he isn't going to check. At what point should I get out, is the other question. And where do I go when I do get out? Oh, hang on. I've been here before, haven't I? This is the place, this is the place I stole the wagon from. Uh, much earlier on. I'm gonna start loading up. Shit. Okay, stealthy, stealthy. Okay, am I going up those stairs? Uh, that door's ajar. I feel like I'm not going up these stairs. I feel like I'm going in here. Oh, man. There's no good ways around here. Okay, okay. Oh man, I'm so tense. I'm so tense. Stealth is not my forte. Oh man, how has that guy not seen me? Okay, okay. Oh, 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 oh shit. Uh, you must be damn Barry. Oh, oh shit. Yourself, friend. This won't take long. Interrogate Danbury. Oh damn. Dan oh Barry. damn. Yes. I need some papers, my friend. Nothing important. A file. Head office. <laughs> I'm not. Oh, <laughs> say that again. Say that again, boy. I need a file by the Leland Oil Development Company. The one about the oil near Wapiti. I. I. Danbury. Big man. A mind is a terrible thing to lose. Especially over such a nice floor as this. It's here. It's here. Yeah? Yeah, you sure? You're not gonna try anything? Yeah? You done good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. Oh, no. fuck. Danbury. Danbury? Danbury, you okay? Tell the guard you're fine. Yes, it's just... I'm working. All's fine. Now stay quiet. Or head office will send me back to get you. <laughs> Escape through the window. Which one? This one? It's been a pleasure doing business with you. Mr. Danbury. That was smooth. Oh, fuck. Am I going to go into Deadeye? Let me go into Deadeye, please. Oh, fuck me. Oh shit. Oh shit, they're all around. I've made a horrible mistake. I should not have legged it like I did. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Okay, okay, okay.
shit. I can't hit this guy in the head to save my life. I'm not sure where he is. Where am I heading? I don't know where you are. <laughs> don't say we need to go and then not fucking show me where you are. Aha. Okay. Whew. That was nerve-wracking at the end there. Well, of course they fucking are. Uh, I'm not shooting the horse. It was auto-aiming me at the horse. Big meanie. Man, this is cool, this bit of area. That explosion came just in time. I was happy to watch some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? I sure did. Yes, don't worry, he was very obliging. I thought you wasn't getting involved. Thought you were going to enter and leave silently. Thank you. You saved my life. Thank you. I hope, well, I don't know what I hope, but who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you very much. We make a good team. 250, not too shabby. It's got a silver on it. Oh right, but half of it's for the thing, so 125. Kill all the horseback pursuers. Did I not do that? And 80% accuracy. Ah, well. Total gang savings. I didn't know that was a stat. Total gang savings is now up to 16 grand. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Okay. So. Nothing more up here, right? Uh, two remaining things. Oh, three remaining things because this one's reappeared. Are back in Saint Denis. So... Where is the nearest station? Uh, not actually sure, because this... That's not a... It doesn't actually tell you there's a train station there. So, I guess if we just follow this line... Where's it going to end up? They both go into one there. Oh, and then it does stop off at Valentine. Okay. Let's go there, then. Maybe there is one, and I just totally am blanking on it. Okay, then, girl. Get him. Wait, hang on. It's behind me? Okay. We'll just go as the crow fry. As the crow fries, yes. Just fry up that crow. Nice and good. Love a tasty crow dinner. Ah, okay. We've rejoined the path anyway. I do feel like Arthur is smarter than to open a window and throw himself out of it. And, oh no, I've landed in front of three guards. Like, surely. I feel like he's a smarter person than to do that. Like, he'd check first. He'd check what the situation was like. He'd check if he was going to get spotted. Oh, actually, is it just if a post office is there, then it's a train station? That might actually be what it is. Because, yeah, oh, there is shit. one right here. Oh, shit! You got one chance. You get vicious with me again? It's not gonna end well for you. I haven't got vicious with you. What are you talking about? You have I got a bounty? I don't have a bounty. Get me to... Valentine. No, St. Denis, even. Oh, okay, it's 10 from here, so I guess it's distance thing. Because I normally go from roads and it's cheap, but that's much closer. I see. Let's go. Man, remember them other paying customers don't want trouble. Let's go. Hello, ma'am. 
could rob this train whilst we're on it. <laughs> no, better not. Pretty sky. Pleased to report my uh, headset is not cut out again, so I think it must have just been that it was running out of charge, but it never normally just cuts out sound. It will beep a few times at me and then it will cut out. But it didn't do that this time, so strange. Oh well. Right, so we've got uh, the French dude to see, we've got the uh, writer dude that gave me those people's names to see, and then Dutchy boy himself. Oh man. Okay, let's set a path. Who's closest? Oh, this Jim Boy Callahan's actually on this side. Brilliant. 